Good morning. Good morning. It's breakfast. It's breakfast time. So cancer starving foods, regenerative foods, gut health foods that can also help your brain, foods that slow down cellular aging, foods that lower inflammation and boost your immune system at the same time. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Food as medicine doctor Dr. William Lee, a leading physician and researcher, is shaking things up in the health world. Dr. Lee isn't just your average doctor. He's a true innovator, focusing on the power of food to fight disease at the cellular level. Before we get cooking with Dr. Lee's insights, let's talk about his impressive background. Dr. Lee is a board-certified physician and scientist with a passion for uncovering the connection between food and our health. He's authored two best-selling books, Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet, which explore the science behind how specific foods can actually target and kill cancer cells. Absolutely amazing to think about what other secrets might be in food that could help to control the blood vessels. Now, now remember, earlier we talked about the fact that growing fat needs extra blood vessels. Right, so it's trying to grow those blood vessels. If you deliberately cut off the blood vessels to that are feeding fat, all right, it'll actually shrink the tube. It'll shrink tumors and it also shrink fat. Mm. So although the tumor wants to grow more blood vessels and it can't, so it starts to die in the middle. If you then step in and do an intervention to really cut off the blood vessels, that fat mass will shrink. And this has been shown very conclusively in the lab that this can actually happen. Green tea. Another, the catechins, EGCG, powerful anti-angiogenic, uh, can cut off the blood supply feeding tumors, can cut off the blood supply feeding fat as well. So one of the reasons I really came up to this whole idea of body fat is not only my background in this research, thinking about, well, maybe fat growing the way that we talked about, cloning itself, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, hypoxic in the middle, that to me re resembles a tumor exactly. And so the question is, could we tame the tumor by uh, taming the blood supply? And I remember the work that was done earlier, and it turns out that many of the foods that I wrote about in my first book that are anti-angiogenic, my first book being Eat to Beat Disease, More Than 300 Foods, there's a whole chapter on anti-angiogenic cancer-starving foods, blood vessel taming flu foods. And I started to realize here was this whole opportunity to look at ways of taming our body fat as well. And the epidemiological study supports it. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Get ready to whip up three tasty protein breakfasts inspired by Dr. Lee's findings. We'll explore exciting recipes featuring ingredients with potential cancer-fighting properties, all while keeping you satisfied and energized throughout the morning. Want to add a subtle earthy flavor without overpowering the dish? Spinach is your secret weapon, which is in our first protein breakfast recipe. Dr. Lee will tell us more. And everyone knows that spinach is good for you, but a lot of people don't know why it's good for you. It turns out that spinach, which grows very close to the ground, is a great source of dietary nitrates. When you um, make the food taste and you chew it, it turns out the microbiome in your tongue, healthy gut bacteria in your tongue, will uh, convert the nitrogen into a form that when you swallow it, turns in, in your body into uh, nitric oxide, and this actually helps to uh, widen your blood vessels and lower your blood pressure. Up. Next, we'll add some walnuts for a satisfying crunch and a boost of healthy fats. You guys, some, some of you have seen these. These are the walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, med medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not gonna prescribe, but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer, feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies to help defenses fight disease. And of course, a uh, good healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. Next, don't be intimidated by those tiny capers. They'll add a salty, briny kick to our next step. I actually love capers. 
my favorite thing to add. They're salty and wonderful, but beyond the taste, what are the benefits? Yeah, so capers are little flavor bombs. They're actually the flower buds, and they actually have a natural chemical called quercetin, which also helps improve our circulation, which is good for our skin. And so the things that I like to do with capers, for example, there's so many ways you can do it. You can sprinkle it onto a chicken dish, like a chicken melanese with capers and lemon. You could actually use it, eat it with bagels and lox. You could actually um, uh, put it, chop it up with tomatoes and stick it into a salsa. So here's like little tiny ways you can actually help your blood flow, help your circulation, help your skin. All right, so then this is a little salsa we made. Basically, what I usually do if there's a food that I really think has great health benefits, I'll Google dishes with capers and then that pops up and you can just, just go from mix there. It right in there just delicious. mix it right in finally let's steep a cup of green tea its antioxidants are the perfect partner for a healthy meal green tea has polyphenols called catechins they help to fire up our brown fat to burn down harmful white fat so they consume fuel when fat goes down your metabolism will actually naturally rise at any age even middle age people and by the way you're also burning away harmful body fat packed inside the tube of your body, and eventually it will also start to affect the fat that you can see in the mirror. I do recommend about three cups of green tea a day. That's where the good stuff starts to happen in your body. Tea leaves or tea bags can actually be used over and over and over again. We don't actually have to throw it out and get a whole new pot. Just put some loose leaf tea, hot water, and you can sip that all day long, and you'll probably have more than three cups over the course of a day. Now we will reveal our first protein breakfast recipe that focuses on cancer. Full of protein. 1. Savory scramble with power greens. Base. Scrambled eggs with chopped spinach and chopped kale. Veggies. Sautéed chopped celery and sliced red bell pepper with a drizzle of olive oil. Toppings. Sprinkle with chopped walnuts and a sprinkle of chopped capers. Beverage. A cup of green tea. Before we dive into our next cancer-fighting protein breakfast recipe, here's a quick tip. Eggs are a great source of high-quality protein and essential nutrients, making them a valuable addition to a cancer-friendly diet to help support muscle strength and recovery. Plums are next. Their sweet and tart flavor will add a delicious balance to this protein cancer-fighting breakfast. Hey, Dr. Willie here. I want to show you a fruit that is worth knowing about. These are plums. Look, there's a whole basket of them. Now plums have a bioactive called ferulic acid. Ferulic acid improves your circulation and studies in the lab have shown that it actually decreases neurodegeneration, which can actually improve cognitions. Up next, the ruby red jewel. Let's crack open a pomegranate and add those juicy arrows for a burst of antioxidants and a pop of color. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee, and I have got one of my favorite fruits I want you to know about. You will recognize it, most of you. This is a pomegranate. This is a pomegranate, it's actually a fruit from Asia. And inside this are a bunch of these ruby red seeds with juices. This really juicy uh, little seeds. So you can put them in salads. Um, you can actually juice them as well. Uh, and um, here's what's in the juice. It's got something called elagitanins. These are bioactives that can do a lot of great things. One of the things they do is actually they can cut off the blood supply to tumors so they can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. But the other thing that they do is they improve your gut health by helping to grow a bacteria called Ackermansia. This is a guardian of the gut and guardian of health and it actually comes from the pomegranate. So don't be afraid to pick one of these things up and eat the seeds and juice them if you dare. Now we will reveal our next protein breakfast recipe that focuses on cancer fighting. Ingredients, two. A high protein breakfast for your big day. Overnight chia pudding with a berry boost. Base, overnight chia pudding made with unsweetened almond milk and chia seeds with a touch of honey for sweetness. Toppings, layer with chopped blackberries, sliced plums, and a sprinkle of chopped pistachios. Drizzle with a touch of pomegranate juice for a fruity touch. Before we dive into our next cancer-fighting protein breakfast recipe, here's a quick tip. Incorporate a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants to support cellular health and well-being. Next, apples. Don't forget the apple skin. It packs a fiber punch and extra nutrients. But what about prevention? What are foods that can prevent cancer? Well, it turns out that two apples a day actually can lower the rate of, of lung cancer. Wow. and colon cancer. Why? Because there are natural substances in apples 
like quercetin. That's one of the natural chemicals that actually are naturally anti-angiogenic. A touch of olive oil adds a depth of flavor that really complements the other ingredients. Well, it turns out that extra virgin olive oil turns out to be really helpful for our stem cells. It protects our stem cells as we age. And not surprisingly, in the blue zones, those parts of the world where people live really to healthy, ripe old ages, over 100, for example, centenarians, they tend to eat olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, which, by the way, comes from a plant. It's a plant-based healthy fat. Now we will share our last protein breakfast recipe that focuses on cancer-fighting foods from Dr. Lee's books. Good morning. Welcome to the Mickey's Breakfast Jamboree. Three, Greek yogurt parfait with a savory crunch. Base, layer of plain, unsweetened Greek yogurt. Toppings, layer with chopped apple, sliced apricots, a sprinkle of chopped capers, and a drizzle of olive oil. Beverage, a cup of green tea. Boost your morning with a cancer-fighting breakfast by including protein-rich foods like Greek yogurt, eggs, or plant-based options like quinoa and chia seeds. What I say is that when it comes to food and health, it's not just about the food, it's how our body responds to what we put inside it. And that makes a lot of sense because if you put something bad inside it, your body's not going to respond very well. It's going to react poorly. When you put something good inside it, um, our body re reacts well. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.